Because, ooh, I'm going to make some people mad when I say this, but I got to say it. You know something is wrong or you know or you know you're not doing something right if you're on a diet that promotes calorically small or like what I'm saying is like the food that you're going to subject yourself to has little to any caloric volume on it like it takes a lot to equal a lot you have to eat a lot of it to equal a lot and you still walking around big and with all these diseases and stuff like that and, and chronic illnesses and underlying medical conditions you're not doing something right Prime example, if you go to be a vegetarian, fruitarian, vegan, X, Y, and Z, all that type of stuff, there's no reason why you should be plant-based or vegan and be big. I'm sorry, y'all. Like, and I'm, I'm not trying to be mean. I'm really not. But if, especially if you go from a, most people have been eating meat all their life. To go from eating, you mean to tell me you're going from eating meat, a whole bunch of meat, rice, this, this and I'm from the South. So I'm going to call a spade a spade. All this oxtail, all this beef, all this, that, and the third, you eat that all day, and then you eating all this rice and these beans and all this fried this and smothered this. And it is, it's good. Y'all don't get me wrong. It's good. But like, that's the mostly the diet, a lot of breads and starches. And then you switch to something that takes two bowls of broccoli or spinach or kale or whatever to equal all of this doggone caloric intake. And you, and you ain't dropped not one pound. That means you lying somewhere. I'm sorry. That means you're, 